honor to talk with you a very important topic, the minimum wage in China. First of all, I want to show you a very short video uh, named Chinese Prophecies Raise Minimum Wage to Crop. Where workers in at least nine provinces and cities will see their pay jump by a third as new minimum wage increases go into effect today. The government hopes it's enough to appease upset workers from auto factories and others. Bloomer Stephen Engel is live in Beijing and he has more details. Stephen. Hey, good morning, Deirdre. Yeah, timing is critical here. Those nine provincial and also municipal governments making this move today, July 1st, to increase the minimum wage, really to head off a contagion of labor unrest spreading across China. Of course, it's mostly down in the southeast, but just this week we're having more reports of uh, strikes at an electronics factory in Tianjin. It's, of course, also affected the automobile parts industry across China. The governments, the local municipal governments that set the minimum wages, they want to nip this in the bud right now. For the exporters and manufacturers, of course, this is going to be further pressure on their bottom lines or on their margins at a time when, of course, the yuan has been allowed to uh, regain its appreciation trend. As for the workers, let's take Beijing, for example. They're getting a $24 a month raise to just $142 a month. Uh, that is... Uh, at the bottom of global tables as far as minimum wages are concerned. They watch the World Cup. They see the soccer balls being kicked around on the pitch. They can't even afford one. Same goes for the iPhones and the iPads and the automobiles that are hitting the streets in this booming economy. The average uh, minimum wage worker here in China cannot afford them. Stephen Here's Engel, thanks very much. This is Stephen Engel joining us there live from... After watching this video, I think most of people will think the laborers in this video looks very poor because they do too much work but their salary is still low. So I think the reason that created this kind of situation is because of the huge number of laborers and Chinese government. But this year, Chinese government also focused on protecting the low-income laborers. Today, I want to I want to talk with from these three parts to e explain why do I think minimum wage should not be raised? Because I think raising minimum wage will raise unemployment, raising minimum wage will weaken competing ability, and raising minimum sorry, uh, raising minimum wage will bring negative effects to labor market. Before I begin my speaking, I want to talk with talk about the question: What is the minimum wage? Minimum wage give a minimum wage standard to companies. However, the be the behavior cannot give cannot give safe grant of labor's job. Can the labor keep their job? It still depends on the employer's choices. The first important fact to consider is unemployment. If if company decides to raise minimum wage for its laborers, it can result in loss to jobs for many laborers. The companies will have to cut many workers off in order to stabilize its budget, resulting in less workers and high unemployment level. Also, there is no mercy in business market. Companies will cut this part of laborers on shaking. We can also look at this picture from this uniform. We can imagine they might come from the same company. And the first people said, I got a raise. And the, this woman also said, I got a raise. But this big guy looks very unhappy and sad. He said, my boss fired me to pay for the, their raise. So from this picture also showed us, raising minimum wage will take a big negative effect to, uh, or to employment. However, some people believe this behavior could result in higher skilled workers while push labor save money on training and Temple also believes that.
Okay, we can move to this graph. This graph shows us in 2013 the employment and the, the relationship between the employment and the minimum wage. We can focus on the red line and the green line. From this graph, the red line means the, when the minimum wage is $7.25, the employment is much more higher than the minimum wage raised to $9. So the big negative effects is easy to see. Moving on, moving on. We can also see that raising minimum wage will decrease the company's competitive power. According to Employment Policies Institute set in 2014, raising minimum wage will bring negative effects to companies and weak the profit to com companies, especially to middle companies. Paying, paying each labor more than minimum wage will force the company to make the budget cuts. This may mean losing, minimum, losing labors or, or even rows, decreasing the quantity of the product itself. The quantity of the product will either be com, 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 compromised or the product's value will be increased, making it less appealing to consumers. However, sports, sports sets in 2015 since a low-paying job is better than no job, why make it any harder for business to hire? Stimulates laborers to put more energy into work. They think this behavior can help the laborers create more value for their companies. And uh, if they have this kind of behavior, then also can increase, increase in quantity of the product. Now, we can look at the negative effects that that's raising minimum wage take to market. Increasing the minimum wage is a big risk for a company to take. Quantity of products increasing because of labor put in more, ener in more energy is not guaranteed. This could result in companies' production rates decreasing due to less workers and the companies lose positive re reputation against companies. Finally, the most, in, finally, the most infor, important fact is effects of the labor market. This chart shows the relationships between labor companies and con, con, customers. One also has the similar opinion. Look at this chart. It looks like a triangle. As we know, triangle has a stability. So if governments change any one of in this triangle, then the others also need also will have a have a have to change. However, investment weekly news said in 2015, raising minimum wage and sending the overpay on time focus on keep labor's profit. They think raising minimum wage can in fact help company and labor more close and create a better in industrial relations. This behavior can, can help labor more care about company's profits and reduce the company's cost. Let's look at this picture. This picture shows us the negative effects that raising minimum wage will bring to labor market. Company want to use lower want to use lower wage to, in, to invite the low skilled laborers. Also wants also the low skilled laborers want this job to pay their uh, life cost. Usually this deal should be successful. But because of the minimum wage Government cannot allow this kind of behave, uh, this kind of situation happen. Government do not care about how much money the the laborers want and how much money, uh, how how many laborers the companies needed. So, so the government will not allow this this kind of situation happen.
and the truth in X sales also set in 2011. The government influenced the labor market, it means like that. So from this reason, so like we mentioned in the beginning, budget cuts and market rules from, from this, we can see that the effects of increased minimum wage will have a huge effect on unemployment. However, some people still think that inviting higher skilled work laborers will reduce companies' costs. But it's still not a solution to the unemployment problem. Also, research shows us the raising minimum wage will result in companies paying laborers more, but this behavior will reduce companies' power to the economy and reduce their competitiveness in business markets. Anyhow, some people think raising minimum wage can encourage workers to put to put in more energy resulting in a better product and increasing. Many, neg many negative effects still prove governments cannot decide the market rules by themselves. Change anyone's profits in triangle will also make many negative effects to labor market. Even though some people think raising minimum wage can create a better industrial relations, but this is still in theory. I think government should focus on the root problem, the damage of the laborers, and not how to raise minimum wage. And that thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please be free to ask. Okay, I'll have a question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when did the uh, one third um, minimum wage hike happen in China? What year was that? Hike happen? Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, Sorry. Me. When did the uh, minimum wa wage raise in China? What is the minimum wage raised in China? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, I think always have this policy, but just this years the Chinese government focused on how to protect laborers. A profit, so uh, the the new policy is issue, was issue. So, can you give me a concrete or specific example of an industry that was affected in China? Oh yeah, uh, like uh, in 2013, 2013 or 2014. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know, you're the expert. Uh, <laughs> 2030, I think. Uh, the, I'm going to check that. <laughs> that's, that's true. So, in, in China, the, like the second nine, second nine city, uh, all of the second nine city and province uh, raised minimum wage for the uh, low income laborers. Yeah. But this behavior uh, still like uh, increase the unemployment. So there are a uh, big debates in, in Did the you know labor that, market. Um, California just passed a law to- Yeah, I know, I know. What's, what's your opinion about that? Uh, I think maybe the situation or the culture mm -hmm. di is different. Because in China, uh, most of laborers do not care about how much money they can make because they just want a job and make a low low salary to pay their life life cost because in China you know uh, whatever the house or the you know, any an, anything is very expensive so they just want a job it's, yeah so they do not care about the minimum wage yeah uh, I Thanks for your question. I think this situation is true, and uh, everyone wants much more money. But let us uh, care about the like the business market. 
the, in the business market, the value is the same. If raise minimum wage, it means the other people need to reduce their salary to pay for this part of money. So how to help uh, laborers or how to help workers have a better better life? The only only solution is how is uh, try to uh, create it much more much more value. You, you mean you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like uh, people will think uh, will think about uh, how to create more value and not uh, just raise minimum wage. For example, uh, like what I said, uh, the uh, labor's companies and um, customers they look like a triangle. If raise minimum wage, it means the product also need to the <laughs> price of the product also need to raise because companies need. A much more benefit to pay the minimum wage, and then the because of the products, the price of the product uh, is raised, and uh, the the laborers also need to pay much more money to buy the product what they want. So, actually, it's the the same result. Yeah, please. Um, let's say you are. The mm -hmm. owner of a company, and you won't raise the minimum wage, mm -hmm. but you will increase the value of the lives of the workers. How would that look like? What would you do to help them if they don't have enough money to make it to the end of the month and eat? Uh -huh. right? How are you going to increase the value of their lives without raising the minimum? What would you do? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think with minimum wage is not the only way to solve this problem. For example, the neighbors might uh, only get a very low low salary because the the value what they created for my company is 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 lower than the minimum wage. So I cannot pay the pay those. Pay, yeah, but pay. what would you do to help them? Maybe just give them a job. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not funny. <laughs> I give him a job, and he can make money by themselves. And then, if he still needs much more money, maybe they can work harder like that. Because, uh, so working more hours. Oh, uh, pardon. Working more hours. Is maybe. The yeah. Okay, thank you, Jason. Next, we will hear from Christy, and she will talk to us about the Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Christy. I come from Taiwan Kaohsiung. Today I have the pleasure of sharing with you a crazy issue which is the used machines in bus car. Before I get started, let me tell you more about a company called Foscom. Foscom specifically, I know that no one knows this company. Foscom is the large electronic original equipment manufacturer. It has 1.3 million employees around the world. Furthermore, their main content of work is that help some companies to assemble their products, such as Apple, Nokia, and Samsung. Right now, could I ask everyone who has Apple, Nokia, or Samsung phone? Yeah. <laughs> As we can see, even though, even though no one knows this company, a lot of people use their products every day. I would like to share a short video with you. This video talks about Foscom face some serious problems. Let's watch the video. Sorry. 
Chinese factory that assembles iPhones for Apple and pushed Miguel opened its doors to the media in response to growing concerns about worker suicides. At least 10 workers have killed themselves this year. 300,000 people work at the Foxconn facility, which resembles a small city. Uh, the latest suicide was reported Tuesday when a 19-year-old man jumped from a building. Foxconn says it's put nets on buildings to stop people from jumping and is training 100 counselors. Critics say the company manages its plants with a strict military approach. The workers must work too much overtime on assembly lines that move too fast. So today, myself, the chairman of Foxconn. As we can see from the video, Foxconn used a simple knife. A lot of workers did repetitive work by their hands every day. In addition, workers would uh, workers worked at least twelve hours per day. Many many, many workers feel so stressful because uh, so many people commit suicide. I do this research because I want to find a, a better way to solve these problems. During our time today, I want to tell you if Foxconn use more machines, it can decrease decrease in employees' cost. And second is increase product quality. The third is improve work, uh, workers' qualities of life. The first important factor to consider that it will decrease in employees' cost. Decreased cost means that include in number of cost, uh, in number of employees needed and time cost and management cost. According to Guy and Chen in 2012, fast a technology upgrading in electronic industry, the enigma of Foxconn is to control expenses and aggressively reduce pro produce time to market. It means that Foxconn plan to use more machines to reduce their time cost. However, some people may argue that machines increase company cost. <coughs> machines are expensive. As we can know, machines need to spend much money than hiring workers. According to thoughts in 2013, Robots were simply too expensive and inflexible. It means that machines must be more expensive than humans. Uh, it is maybe true, but machines, in the long term, machines are cheaper. It can decrease in employees' cost. According to they in 2012, a mechanized system can produce a higher value per hour at a lower cost per unit value than a conventional system. This shows that machines will be cheaper because they will be producing more than more, more in less time. In other words, mechanization has new breakthrough. Using more machines can decrease in number of employees needed. For example, a machine can assemble 100 chips with one hour, within one hour. A worker can assemble 60 chips within one hour. Besides, workers can, workers can work 24 hours. However, work, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. a, machines can, a machines can work 24 hours. However, a worker just, just can work eight hours at the same time. Qualities of, of machine production more than quantities of workers' production. Therefore, company use more machines, it can decrease employees' cost and time cost efficiently. Moving on, let's now look at how product quality will be increased through using machines in Foxconn. For example, decrease air rates of products, increase product quality at uh, uniformity, and machines can do more precise work than humans. According to a music KC and JT and Sunil Investment in 2011, streamlining and mechanizing the manufacturing 
process to some extent and ensure that a uniform quality is maintained in the production and improve productivity. In other words, mechanization can make product keep uniformity. For example, when you want to copy a paper, if you if you copy by your hands, it is hard to make sure its all words are right. However, if you copy by your uh, by by machines, it can make sure all words are the same. Machines can more can be more consistent. In addition, automation and mechanization brought much technological development. If company use more machines, it cannot not only bring more benefits, but also it can increase product quality. However, some people may argue that machines lack precision. According to Huawei in 2014, Foxconn's robotic workforce isn't precise enough to assemble iPhones. In other words, machines cannot be more precise than workers. Machines lack intelligence and they don't have the ability to see their errors. It is maybe true, but due to technology progress, machines can be more precise than, than humans. According to Ku in 2004, the use of automation can increase product uniformity and quality. For example, more subtle component assembly. Machines can assemble tiny components, but humans' abilities are limited. If a company uses more machines to operate, it can increase product quality. Finally, the most important factor is improving employees' qualities of life. For example, in Foxconn, workers needed to do repetitive work every day, uh, uh, and, and they had to do the, uh, the work over 12 hours. They need to live in the unhealthy environment. They feel so stressful. Therefore, many, many, many people commit suicide. If company use more machines, it can increase workers' enthusiasm and it can decrease workers' stress. According to Zimmerman in 2012, Foxconn has good reason to pursue a robotic path, exposing workers to might normally repetitive work routines at a very high pace. In other words, Foxconn had decided to use more machines at assembly line because they wanted to reduce workers' stress. It could be argued that, however, machines increase workers' stress. According to Benzel, Kotlikov, and Legada and the Sex in 2015, a pressure on the workers likely to grow in the future as technology improves the competence of robots and lowers their cost. Workers needed to find other jobs or more challenge jobs. They will uh, they most likely more stressful. It is maybe true, but if more machines are used, it can reduce worker stress. According to Lucas, Ken and Lee, in 2013, Foxconn workers find it difficult to relate to each other because they are always wearing identical work uniforms and performing the same tasks every day. In other words, Foxconn workers need to do the same jobs every day. If machines can represent workers to do this job, it can improve the workers' quality of life. Because they don't need to do the boring work and it also can increase, uh, decrease suicide rate. Machines can assist humans to finish their jobs. In conclusion, during our time today, we have looked at how the use, the use of machines in Foxconn. It can decrease cost, increase product quality, and 
improve workers' quality of life. In Foxconn, there, there are some serious problems due to assembly lines. The most important the most important thing is to keep workers safe and prevent, prevent suicide. Foxconn is uh, one of the biggest company in China. If Foxconn can make do this change successfully, it will be a new model. In addition, other companies also can learn more uh, learn from Foxconn and make. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. <laughs> you know who you remind me of? Yeah. In every good movie about robots that take over the world, yeah. <laughs> there's always a person in a suit that says, this is going to be great for the workers. Right? But my question is this, how, much, how many people will be laid off or lose their job when you have the robots? Uh, I think different different companies has different situation. So uh, if if other companies or uh, they want to they want to use more machines, it it's it need to depends on different situations. But don't you think that because Foxconn employs one point three million people, mm -hmm. right? And if if they use all those robots, how many employees will they have? In uh, I think, uh, my in my opinion is, uh, I think Foxconn, uh, 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 for example, uh, uh, uh in industrial uh, re revela revelation, uh, oh, yeah, revolution. Uh, uh, a lot of people were placed by machines, right. and mm -hmm. I think I think humans can find other ways to find the jobs. So I think that is not a big problem. So, so, what would you say to someone that says having the robots mm -hmm. will increase the quality? of a few workers, oh. but then many workers will lose their job. Oh. Oh, I think uh, <laughs> not many not many workers there will lo lose their job because uh, I think if company want to use uh, use machines, they need to find person to operate machines. And, and maybe the government should, uh, the, um, uh, the government or a company can can teach employees to learn other other skills 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 sorry skills. Another question. Break time. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>